I'm in Death Valley National Park and it's 120 degrees. The tourists are feisty at these temperatures. See, I knew we were going to be under citizen's arrest. I knew we were going to be under citizen's arrest. Why are you talking about the, the second world with me? Because I have a long memory and you are Italian. Outdoor activities are suicidal and I had to go and make it all worse by bringing a fat guy. Fez is a little lightheaded. It's getting a little scary. I do want to come clean about one thing, Fez. I did refer to you as a quote, uh, fat guy in the intro. No, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Death Valley National Park. It's the desert one. They shot Star Wars here, and from October to March, I'm sure it's beautiful. But during the summer, it is literally the hottest place on Earth. And the consensus from travel sites is just don't go. Well, me and Fez are going. Like the video and subscribe to the channel to support our effort. Our effort to survive in the worst national park in America, Death Valley, during the summer. You ever experienced 117 before, Fez? No. It'd be 117 donuts. <laughs> I wonder if they grease that thermometer just to get the tourists going. I think that's good for business if it's 10 degrees hotter than it actually is. What do you think, sir? You think they're greasing that thermometer? Well, I was taking that show and I moved back to get that in, and you all moved it in front of me. So we're the bad guys for standing in a place. You have a black hat on and I should have a white hat on. That's right. If we were doing this Western style. I like you, sir. I'd be inclined to give you a real tongue lashing, but I like your accent. Where are you from, sir? Scotland? Yeah. Cool. Um, Fez, you're still in his shot. <laughs> So, we have to herd him like one of the sheep that people in Scotland are rumored to fuck. <clears throat> now, let's go inside. Junior Rangers, we are looking for a scenic but physically undemanding hike because, well... <coughs> Any suggestions? Something simple, not too hot. Mm -hmm. My recommendation for you would be the Dante's Ridge Trail. So Dante is a famous Italian author who wrote a book called The Inferno. Correct. Eric, are you trying to mislead us? Not so much. Are you trying to send us both into a furnace right now? <laughs> I could do that. I could recommend Golden Canyon for you. That'd be a nice furnace. I don't like that. It's an Iceland Greenland thing. <laughs> Maybe we should ask somebody at the gift shop if your sun protection is adequate. The place we're going to is named after a guy who wrote a book about hell. I can't emphasize that enough. Oh, where are you from? Holland. Holland? Holland. Wow. Does he speak better English, miss? Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> sir, uh, any recommendations for hikes? For hikes? Yeah. For here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> but if I go to Holland, you got some kick-ass ones, I bet. <laughs> Fez, you might need some recommendations for the, the red light district over there in that Amsterdam. That's what you might need. He's never had intercourse before, and we joke all the time, trip to Amsterdam will solve that virginity problem real fast. You know, it'll solve it real fast. How about this place, Titus Canyon? I'm pretty sure you felt uncomfortable and you recommended something at random. I don't know, I like the name Titus. Why do you like the name Titus? It's a, it's a name from Final Fantasy. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, really quick question. Uh, this gentleman here showed up for a day trip to Death Valley dressed like this. Do you think he's at risk of sunburn? I still put a hat on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you got here, Fez? Some shorts, another, another t-shirt. What's this? Is this a Game Boy? Yes, <laughs> the, newest, the newest one. Did you bring any identification? Oh yeah, my ID. Where is it? Ah, oh, I see. See, there's my ID right here. This is Fez's wallet. His ID, which we're gonna blur, a Konami card game network ID, an official Konami card game player ID. Do you have any currency in this wallet? Oh, no, it's empty. There's no credit cards? No, no credit cards. Debit cards? No debit. All right. <laughs> Fez, so you came to Death Valley with no sun protection. No sun protection, that's right. Nothing with long sleeves. Nope. No sunscreen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, meaning no. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going to Dante's view. All right. I'm Virgil. 
And you're Dante. I'm taking you on a journey today <laughs> through uh, hell. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> so the engine's overheating and the AC suddenly is blowing hot. And the only remedy for an overheated engine, or the only one I know of, is you gotta go without AC. Let's keep an eye on this, because there could be a lot of equipment that starts behaving a little bit erratically due to the heat. Cameras might start doing weird stuff. Cars might start doing weird stuff. Uh, never mind what Fez starts doing. Fez, is there a chance that you just go belly down on the dirt? You faint. Maybe. Are you Chinese? Do you have any advice on how to be a generally more successful immigrant? Because he's from Nicaragua and, you know, I'm um, How many years have you been here for, Fez? Seven years. You've been here for a lot longer than seven years. Yeah, yeah, the thousands. So 24 years. He's been here for 24 years. I'd argue this gentleman's English is better than yours. Uh, his whip. Woo! What kind of car do you drive, Fez? None. He doesn't drive a car. He takes the bus. Still, the ability to rent this car requires a credit card which you don't have. <laughs> this trip, right now, we are at Dante's View. We're gonna descend today, and if you make it through without collapsing, I'm gonna introduce you to your Beatrice. Beatrice is rumored to be a chick that Dante saw on the streets of Florence like once, became obsessed with, and then she became his artistic muse. However, I think Fez's Beatrice is um, <clears throat> food. So if you do well today, I'm gonna reward you with more food. Because I saw him, this guy, he positively attacked the buffet today. So much food, can I really handle it? Presenting my second fight. Dad, do you go cream cheese directly in your mouth, then you eat the pastry? I did do that, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty unbelievable. Fez's first tray at the buffet was giant, and that's his third trip. That's his third trip. That's so scary, bro. Fez, this little grade is not gonna be your undoing. No, you bastard, don't get behind I, me. I, you think I would do that? You think as a goof I'd shove you down a cliff? Yes, you would. There are too many people here with I mean, that girl is wearing a tank top, and that guy is wearing Old Navy cargo shorts. What the f is this? I don't like it. It's probably only 79 degrees up here. This didn't feel like Death Valley. This felt like the I have the sniffles valley. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? We were here earlier, excited for the presentation. Keep it down. I feel like I was misled. Yeah. I know they told me it was the milder of the two points, but I didn't expect it was going to be that mild. Mm -hmm. You need to burn, Fez. <laughs> You're already burning, Danny Moment. Look at your face. <laughs> There's no way I'm burning. Did you see his face? My face is not sunburned. No, it's not sunburned, but it's red. My face is slathered. It's red because I'm angry at you. All right, gentlemen, I think I'm going to get started. What was your name, sir? Uh, Casey. Casey. Very nice to meet you. I just, I'm really interested. Are you guys a uh, YouTube channel? Yeah. Like that? We got a hiking channel, and uh, the plan was to go into the belly of the beast today, Casey. We will be going. We'll be going, okay. But unfortunately, we were misled by the staff here at the Furnace Creek Visitor Center. Casey? Yes. We were told that Dante's lookout would be punishing with its heat, but unfortunately, it's cool up there. It is cool up there. It's not that bad, yeah. And Casey, that guy right there, 
now that we're on all this Dante imagery, I gotta say, he's guilty of gluttony. And people guilty of gluttony, Casey, they're relegated to the third level of hell. And that's why, Casey, today, I want you to give me a suggestion right now for where we can go, where the heat will scald the paint off our vehicles, where it will come close to stopping the man over there's heart, because that's what I want. So, as a government employee, I cannot recommend something that puts you in uh, extreme danger. Do it, Casey! But I can tell you where that extreme heat danger is. Where is it? And that would be, in my opinion, Golden Canyon Trail? We heard about it earlier. We're going. You're going right to the third circle, baby. You're gonna come face to face with Cerberus, the three-headed dog. What kind of temperatures are we looking at right there? Uh, Golden Canyon, about 120. Isn't it 123 here? Uh, that signs off by one to five temperatures, so it's probably like 118. I knew it. I knew you guys cranked it up for tourism. <laughs> it's a good photo op if it reads five degrees higher. It's for tourism. Take care, Casey. We're going to Golden Canyon. Oh, you guys are crazy. That's why we came to Death Valley, Fez. She's saying we're crazy. Do you all have a map for that area? Nope. Well, let me get one for you. I'm not going to look at it either way. Well, so just please be careful. We had a girl who died last year um, in July. Get up here, Fez. <laughs> so we don't, we don't want that to happen. No, I don't want it to happen either. But if it does happen, it could be God's will. I'm going to Golden Canyon. Sorry? My Italian's not so good, but I'm going to Golden Canyon. Yeah. Yeah. And? You better pray so to Moose. I don't, I don't like that you show, that you use the camera on me. Oh. Sir. Sorry, so why? You're being collectively punished right now for your sins in WW2. All your people. I'm going to Golden why, Canyon. Why are you talking about the, the second world with me? Because I have a long memory, and you are Italian. And My grandfather died in the Mediterranean, sir. And so, I haven't forgotten. I still visit his grave every spring. So you are definitely kidding with me. I mean, I, I don't want to talk about this stuff. I mean, so long. You have to open the wound, sir. It's the only way we can heal. Let's go, Fez. If you like this combination of myself and Fez, good news. Tomorrow, him and I are gonna go film an entirely new video, but it's only for our patrons. You pay taxes? You think it's okay to take a shit without paying taxes at City Hall? <laughs> I don't think he should be saying the N-word. I have his history right here if you wanna watch it. Black girl dating? Okay, he can use the N-word. So there's a little bit of controversy over there. There was a black gentleman named RJ, and he had a white friend, and the white friend was throwing around the N-word with impunity. That's right, lately we've been basically filming YouTube videos, but not releasing them on YouTube. They're exclusively for our patrons who support our quest to make great content every week. We did 29 Palms last month, and now we got this one. Check the link below. Subscribe to our Patreon and get it. You have your footing? Yep. Fez, we're almost out of drinking water. So, yeah. salud. It is now hot tub temperature. Are we under citizen's arrest? Excuse me? Are we under citizen's arrest? Sorry? Where are you from, sir? I'm from Europe, sorry. It's a big place, that Europe. Big place, yeah. You just came in very hot. I thought uh, maybe we did something wrong. I so I didn't know if we were going to be. Ah. Okay. Which country in Europe? Austria. Austria. The genocide. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. See, this is why I'm angry, Fez. And uh, I keep anybody from Europe who has anything to do with the Axis powers. I'm just letting them have it today. <laughs> Doesn't even bother you, huh? <laughs> we have to catch up with those Jew killers. Because if they smoke us on the track, it's national shame. And also, you know, there's a lot of anti-Semitism floating around these days. Let's do our best to combat it. And our way of combating it right now is to beat those sea suckers up Golden Canyon. <laughs> Take care. Old Arnie Hitler, the pride of Austria. Yep, Fez. 
It's not killing Jews or talking about dicks like Sigmund Freud down at that University of Vienna. The Austrians aren't into it. See, I knew we were going to be under citizen's arrest. I knew we were going to be under citizen's arrest. I called it. I called it. Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm having heat exhaustion symptoms right now. I'm just, I keep critiquing European peoples based on their past atrocities. I'm sorry. Let's go, Fez. No, you're not. That's your problem. It's hard to tell what the footage we have pieced together here, but we hiked really far up into this canyon, close to a full mile, which is impressive because I didn't think Fez was gonna make it 50 yards. And again, in this heat, which I've never been in 120 before, it was like having your face in a preheated oven. Miserable, and remember, almost everybody we met told us just don't do this. It's a bad idea, and that proved to be the case. You're starting to impress me, Fez. Were you a soldier in Nicaragua, Fez? My mother was, though. So. Your mother was a Sandinista? No, she was a freedom fighter. Ugh. It's hard to keep track of all the rebellion. Yeah. It just seems like you've done some marching in your time. Our equipment gave out before we did. We lost the primary microphone on our main camera. The main camera cut out a bunch of times. The GoPro on top of our main camera was toast. And our phones, which we would film with periodically, those would routinely crap out too. The word shade is more and more starting to come to Fez's lips, Kelvin's lips. Is that a symptom of heat exhaustion when somebody's just saying, shay, shay with a Hispanic accent. That happened here for a second, but the camera does come right back. I said you needed to get punished for your gluttony. Well, I need to get punished for my brain not working too well and me resorting to hack World War II stereotypes. You know what, Fez? I'm a quarter German. So I'm just as bad as that Austrian and that Italian man. Yeah. Shoveling all the blame onto the Italian and the Austrian. Me being German, I was guilty of the sin of treachery, which is far worse than gluttony, my friend. Are you gonna pass out, Fez? I think so. Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna punch me. You just got very woozy right there. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you all right? Yes. Do we need to walk it back down right now? Yeah, can we? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. You're waving to Kelvin like he's gotta stay? No, no. Is he, just, is he gonna stay here and die while no. we go to safety? Is that what's gonna happen? No. <laughs> Maybe you do deserve to be in a deeper level of hell. So this is where stuff actually got really scary. We take our shirts off to pose for a goofy thumbnail, and in the process of doing that, Fez turns into a different person. His essence is drained, and suddenly this zombie is standing before us. And again, it's over 120 degrees, there's zero shelter, and we have about a mile of hiking to do to get out of this fix. It's gonna be to move him. He just said he can't move. Wait, you can't move? No. Okay. Come on, Fess. Come on. Okay. He was doing so well. Yeah. Wrist. Does that feel better? And cut. Just, just hold Kelvin while you walk, Fez, just in case you get dizzy. He can sense it and he catches you. All right, it's uh, suddenly gotten sinister up here. The winds have picked up, the hell winds, which are, you know, themselves, they're made of the air, and the air is 120 degrees. Also, in, in my brain, which was fried at the time, I was convinced the Austrian guy was gonna call the park rangers on us and that we might be facing arrest when we got down to the base. And then there's the prospect of the rangers waiting for us when we get back down there. So, you know what we gotta do? We just gotta, uh, we just gotta say that we have a man of color who's experiencing symptoms of heat exhaustion. And we gotta say that the Austrians called him a Yeah, it's, that's our get out of jail free card, right Fez? Will you put your hand on a Bible or Dante's Inferno and say they called you a sp yeah, sure. 
almost home free. We got a casualty here. Wouldn't recommend going too far beyond this point. His name is Fez. His name is Fez, yeah. Let's go, Fez. Calvin, you want to get started up? That got a little scary there for a second. You have any comments, Fez? Well, we conquered the shit out of Golden Canyon, didn't we? Kelvin made a good point earlier. Heat stroke Fez is indistinguishable from blacked out Fez. The problem is anyone could just come up to him and face right now. Look at him, dude. He, anybody, like anybody could just be like he can't, he can't do shit, dude. Look at him. He has no idea what's going on. There you go, Fezzy. It's cold, Fez. You sure this is not gonna f your diabetes? Coca-Cola Company, you guys better send me some dough. <laughs> the sponsorship. There we go, yeah. Has there ever been a better ad for Coke? We're Mountaineers. This guy just completed Golden Canyon. How was it, Fez? It was fun. Yeah. It was an experience. I almost died. <laughs> Fez, what are you thinking about the menu here? Oh, it, it looks exquisite. <laughs> How about this? Uh, do you think you can get the number six? That's a six ounce prime filet mignon. It's not the number six. I know. No, you didn't know that. You called it the number six. Number like we are at Wendy's. No, of course I know it's not six dollars. You think it's the number six? The number six order on the menu. Oh, uh, six ounces. Oh, oh oops. I, yeah, oops. Yeah. Oops. Oh my God, $65. So you thought there was a number 14 and a number six, and then nothing else on the menu was numbered? I, yeah. As you can see, my fine dining skills are quite rusty. <laughs> Andrew? Do you just need any time to look at the menu? Uh, I think we're pretty much good. I think you have to get the number six now but it's prime filet mignon, so yeah. not a bad choice. And it's fit for a, a guy who conquered Golden Canyon. And how would you like that cook? Uh, well done, please. Wait, 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 wait. Andrew, should we allow that? It's really up to him if he wants that. <laughs> Is the chef gonna curse when he sees that order? What, the will? No. He should. Oh. He should come out here and spit on him. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. You know, uh, Fez, when you get a nice piece of meat, you should probably not go too much above medium. So we're gonna get a medium for you. Is that okay? Medium rare? No, meat, just medium. Just oh. medium. Yeah, we'll get uh, two 14s and a six. All right. Should we pay at the second window? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, that looks nice. delicious. You can't get that at Jack in the Box. No, I cannot. Yeah, you got past the three-headed dog of Cerberus. Did you just aim my spaghetti? Oh, it's Cerberus. Yes, it's a really good mashed potatoes. I think they they mix them with milk and butter, and then smash it together. Ah, oh, that's actually really good. Did you just recite the generic recipe for mashed potatoes? It's like the peanut butter jelly. They mix the peanut butter in the jelly and they put it in the bread. It's crazy. <laughs>